Hi everyone, this is Steve Johnson and welcome to another 3 minute thriller where we give you professional development in 3 minutes or less. In today's 3 minute thriller, we're going to learn how to determine an effect size between a pre and post test. Uh, if you've read John Hattie's work, you're probably familiar with effect sizes and the information I'm going to share with you I received from Visible Learning for Literacy. This book is fantastic, so I definitely recommend reading it. This is the formula we're going to use. We're going to take, uh, we're going to find an effect size by taking the average of a post assessment uh, minus an average of a pre-assessment, and then we're going to uh, divide it by the average standard deviation. Now, that, I know that might sound like a lot, but it's going to make a lot of sense when we look at an Excel spreadsheet. So I'm in a Google sheet, actually, right now, and I have um, students' names, a pre-test the student has taken, and their scores for a post-test. So the first thing we want to do is we want to find the average for the pre-test and the post-test. So all you've got to do in a Google Sheet is click right here, drag down, select all of the scores, go over here to average, and then there's your average right there. We'll do the same thing for the post-test. Go to click, drag, let go, go over here, click average, and there's your average right there. Now what we want is we want the standard deviation for each of these. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead, I'm going to click the equal sign, start typing in STDEV for standard deviation it pops up right there. I'm going to click that. I'm going to click right here, drag and let go, hit enter, and there's the standard deviation for the pretest. I'll do the same thing here, put the equal sign, ST, there's DEV right there. I'm going to go ahead and click, drag, let go, hit enter, and there's my standard deviation right here. Now what we want to do is we want to take the average between these two standard deviations. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and click here, drag and drop, go right here, click average, and there's the average. I'll hit enter. So the average standard deviation is 0 0.7890. Okay, so what do we need to do? We need to do this. Uh, average post-assessment minus average pre-assessment divided by the average standard deviation. So here's what we'll do. We'll go to the calculator. I'll go ahead and take the uh, post uh, the post assessment information. So that's 4.944 uh, minus uh, 3.833. Uh, equals. And then I'm going to go ahead and divide that um, by the standard deviation average, which is 0.789. And so the effect size for this, the instruction done between these two assessments was 1.408. That's huge. That's a high, high effect size. Hope you guys found this uh, three-minute thriller helpful.